What's up, guys? The Rabbit Wiki here. I finally got my hands on the Astro A50 wireless headset, uh, the one that comes with the uh, charging dock. Um, first off, I thought I should mention that after a long debate uh, of deciding, of trying to decide to go for the PlayStation 4 version or the Xbox One version, I decided to go with the PlayStation 4 version. Um, it, it looked cool. I like the blue and the black color scheme. Uh, also, Final Fantasy 15 is coming out soon, uh, and I have that pre-ordered on the PlayStation 4. So I figured, hey, you know what the heck, I'll get it for that one. Uh, so let's get right down to the overview. So first off, we have the mic, the USB charging port, the charge contacts for the magnetic charging for the dock. Uh, and then you have the equalizer switch. You have three settings that you can customize. Then you have the master scroll wheel. Uh, and then you have the power switch. And then the Dolby on and off switch. And you have the, oh, well, actually, let's do this. You can remove the top headband and switch it out if you would like. And you can also remove the ear cups. And on the side, you have the game and the voice balance. You can, you know, raise one or lower the other. And now you have the charging dock with the aux and mic in, the optical out, the optical in, the uh, USB audio and power, <clears throat> the, char uh, the USB play and charge port, and the PS4 and PC uh, switch. On the front, you have the charging LED indicators. Uh, you have the Dolby on and off indicator and the power indicator, and this is where you put your headset in to charge it. After lifting this beauty out of the box, I immediately was fond of the, uh, the build quality. <clears throat> Between the look, the weight, and the texture, the A50 definitely feels like a premium device. Of course, it should, because you kind of have to sell your home to be able to buy one of these. I do not say this lightly when I say that this is probably the most comfortable headset I have ever wore. Uh, the ear cuffs are just a nice, soft, fabric-y material, uh, and the same goes for the headband, and it's nice and thick, a nice and thick padding. Um, and when, when you put it on, it's just, it just feels great. It's, it's lightweight, uh, but it feels snug. Uh, when I move my head around, it's it slides around just just a little bit, uh, not not enough to really you know bother me too much. Um, and I notice it more when I you know tilt my head back. It it tends to slide, but I mean overall it it, it feels like it's just kind of resting on your head, but at the same time, not I don't want to say tight because it, it it's not tight, but it, it is it's just it's a comfortable snug um, you can buy a mod kit uh, for these that you can take you know the ear cup off as well as the headband and on the Astro website they have just some leather ones that you can you know buy and take off and attach uh, and I, at the time of, I, I'm doing this video they're on the website for like $40 uh, and you get a replaceable headband and you know your your two ear cushions uh, and their leather and to adjust the headset length uh, you just have these little well, let me turn around here you have I don't know if you can see it on the video but there's little tick marks and it, it just slides and it just squeezes down and comes back up once it it doesn't slide out real easy. I mean, you kind of have to give it some force. So that I like that. Uh, it's not. I don't think this is gonna wear out. I hope this doesn't wear out. If it starts to wear out and not hold it, because it, there's no click at all. It literally just slides. So I'm hoping that over time it will be okay and not wear out. But let me get that adjusted back to how I like it. But it is a nice smooth motion. The range I'm not impressed with. Uh, of course, I'm kind of isolated in my little office here, 
uh, and there's you know a, a wall, you know right out of the right out of the room. But when I leave my room, I could maybe go 10, 15 feet in either direction, and then it starts to cut out. Uh, and I could go a few more feet, and then it'll kind of cut out entirely. So the the wireless range isn't the best. I'm sure it's fine if you're in a large room with no obstacles or nothing to nothing to bother you know the signal uh, but for my situation um, if I leave the room it and I go anywhere you know anywhere of importance out of my out of my office it's going to start cutting out so that's a bummer it's not a, you know that's not a big deal I don't really walk around my house with my headset anyways uh, but that is something to think about honestly there's not much to say about the sound other than it's amazing uh, you have you have three different settings or uh, equalizer switches here that you can do and you can customize it however you want by default it has astro setting pro setting and studio setting I actually leave mine on astro it sounds really really good on astro um, there's also an astro uh, mod kit setting if you get the mod you know the mod kit uh, which is like forty dollars but it sounds really good the, the sound is really crisp it feels the bass feels really strong not too strong it's not too weak it's not too strong it's just right uh, you can kind of feel a little rumble here uh, but it's not overpowering at all I know some headsets are just way overpowering and then some headsets are there's just no bass at all and I hate that I like having strong bass that to me that helps me feel immersed into the game uh, as well as much as you can be sitting at a desk and looking at a computer screen <clears throat> but this this is one of the best sounding headsets I have ever used. Uh, nothing short of amazing as far as the sound quality goes. Unfortunately, now it's time to talk about the mic. Um, but before I get to the negatives, I like to talk about some of the features. Uh, the first is the noise gate, and there are four different settings. Uh, you have streaming, you have night, you have home, and then you also have tournament mode. I leave mine on home. Uh, I found that that's the best for what I, you know, for what I need. Uh, it sounds after toying with it, it sounds the best out of the other options. Uh, then you have under the on the mic equalizer, you have bright, airy, and warm. Uh, and I, I had mine on warm, and then I, I I switched it to airy, and I think I like airy more. Uh, but the mic itself is is kind of disappointing. Um, as soon as I logged onto Discord, I didn't tell my friends that I got a new headset or anything like that. Um, I log in, and immediately, my uh, a friend of mine noticed that my voice sounded like crap. And I played with the mic settings for like an hour or so, and I I only made things worse uh, until I don't know. And then I you know I decided to leave it on home. And, and then I just changed it to Aerie, and that's that's where I have it now. Um, and I'm probably going to leave it. But, you know, I, for the money that this headset is, it should be a better mic. Um, it's not terrible. Like, there's clearly worse sounding mics out there. Uh, one being the Razer Tiamat 7.1. That is one of the worst mics I have ever, ever uh, heard uh, and used. Um, but this should have been a better mic. What's weird is when he was, because I was, I was using Discord and he said it sounded like crap. So I went into Skype and I, you know, the Ella, you have reached the Skype call testing shabbish, you know, that, that thing. Uh, and I tried it so I could listen to it for myself uh, through a voice program. And yeah, it sounded bad. Uh, when I did a mic test through the, um, through, I, I think I just used the Windows, Windows, normal Windows recorder. And it sounded okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was just kind of meh. Um, but I do have, uh, I did do four mic tests for you. One is uh, with this mic, which is the Blue Yeti. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be a better one. Uh, it, there's not going to be a gaming headset that has a better mic than the, uh, than this. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Uh, and then, obviously, the Astro. Uh, and then I have the Razer Manowar 7.1, uh, the wireless version. Uh, and 
I also I for the Astro I did the through the same program I did through the others with no filters, nothing, you know, nothing like that, except for the onboard settings that they have, which, you know, I use the noise gate and stuff uh, for the Astro. But I also did one as a playthrough through Skype. And it sounded, I got it to sound a little better than what it was doing. It's still not what I was expecting or what I wanted so uh, I am disappointed in this mic uh, and the mic monitor itself uh, the side tone even though I have the setting all the way up I can barely hear it it's not strong at all uh, I like to hear myself talk when I'm playing a game because I, I don't want to feel like I'm yelling at my, my uh, buddies uh, and I just it's hard whenever there's explosions and stuff and I'm trying to you know say something I get confused uh, with all the sound going on and not being able to hear my own voice uh, the Man of War definitely beats the Astro in the mic monitor uh, volume output but that's really about the only thing it beats it in uh, quite honestly because the Astro just blows it away uh, in every other uh, regard so without any further ado here are the mic tests. This is a mic test using the new uh, charging dock uh, edition of the Astro A50 wireless headset using the home noise gate and the mic equalizer on Airy. This is a mic test using the Astro A50 new base model edition uh, with the noise gate set to home and the mic equalizer set to Airy. This is a mic test using the Razer Man of War Wireless Edition. This is a mic test using the Blue Yeti microphone. Right out of the box, these come at like 10%, 15% charge. So I recommend doing a full recharge before you use them. Uh, and actually, there's a little piece of paper in the box that tells you to do so as well. But um, it took like two two and a half hours I think to charge this thing all the way um, it's supposed to get 15 hours of battery life I haven't been able to sit down long enough to use these to where I have used all of the battery I got home from work oh it's about I started using these about 6 p.m. and stopped about 10 30 p.m. Uh, non-stop I, I may have put it down here or there you know for maybe five ten minutes uh, but it at the end of the night, it had 81% battery left. So that's not bad. Uh, they claim you're supposed to get 15 hours. I have not been able to test that yet. I apologize. But one cool feature, one cool feature about this, uh, when you have the headset on, and that's on the wrong side, but I guess it doesn't matter for this demonstration, but when you have it um, on your head, there's a sensor in, in this headset that lets you know that tells it that it's on your head. And whenever you take it off and you set it down on your desk, uh, there's also a sensor that, or if you let it set for like I don't know, 30 seconds or so, it shuts off. Um, and your Astro Command Center, it it shuts down uh, or goes to sleep. Uh, and then whenever you pick it back up and put it back on your head, everything turns back on. You don't have to push any buttons or nothing. That's that's really cool. I do like that about this the this headset. That's a really neat feature. All right. So, should you buy this headset and do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Uh it's it's a great headset. It sounds amazing. Uh it it feels durable. Um and it's really comfortable, but the sound uh, the in-game sound I, I haven't experienced anything better for from a wireless gaming headset uh, it's the sound is really crisp um, it's just a nice full sound and the the bass isn't too weak it's not too strong I mean it's just right there's a slight rumble in the ear uh, you know not not gonna give you a headache or anything like that it gets to a really loud volume uh, and also you know which is great uh, the only downside is this freaking mic. Uh, I swear, it's it's really heartbreaking uh, that everything about this headset is fantastic except for this thing. Um, maybe mine's faulty. I doubt it, because uh, like I said, there's there's people all over the forums that you know are having issues, uh, or there's a whole batch that are bad. But uh, I do recommend it. 
just know on the on the front end that your mic quality is not going to be the best. Um, I'm probably going to still use this, which sucks because I hate having it in front of me as I'm you know as I'm playing my games. But I I I don't want to I want to be able for for my friends to hear me and not <laughs> sound like crap. Uh, I will say that um, I do have the mod kit coming in uh, within a few days, and I will be trying that out. And I'll post up, you know, I'll post a video uh, about how different I think it is, if it's better, if it's worse, you know, whatever. And during the process of this making this video, uh, you know, I wanted to try this out on the PS4. I know I, I said I'm primarily PS or PC gamer. I'm, I apologize, a PC gamer. That is true, uh, but I plugged this into my PS4, and it worked like a charm. Uh, plug and play. It automatically, uh, my PS4 settings automatically recognized it, and I didn't have to go and change anything. It just automatically started playing through here. The mic worked. Uh, I played Battlefront. Uh, sounded really good. Um, the thermal imploder sounded awesome. And I also tried it on my Xbox One just wanted to see what happened surprisingly you can use these the ps4 version on your xbox one however you cannot use the mic uh, so there is a little bit of a downside but it, you know i i don't really talk to people much and you know i don't want to talk to a bunch of 10 year olds playing you know either call of duty or halo or whatever uh they annoy me i mute them most of the time anyways unless i'm playing with friends which is which is rare um, so this works great for me. Uh, most of my friends play on the PlayStation 4, uh, so I can talk to them when I need to, and whenever I want to play Halo or whatever on the Xbox, and I just want to have you know not be disruptive with my family, and I can is isolate myself in the in you know in my headphones. I can. Uh, I don't have to go buy the Xbox version just to do that. So that is that's great news, and. Um, I didn't own the original A50s, so I can't compare these to those or any other Astro headset, quite honestly. I've never had one before. This is my first pair of Astros, and I'm in love with them, uh, except for that mic. Uh, I can't I can't get over how, how bummed I, I am. Uh, I just, I thought it would have been better than what it is. I mean, it, it's passable, but it's, it's unacceptable for the price of... Uh, that you pay for this headset um, should have been better so uh, that is it for now uh, please check back on my channel later please subscribe if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down uh, and you're dead to me no I'm just kidding but uh, thank you so much again for for checking out my channel